Divine Office Sunday Evening Prayer God, come to my assistance. Lord, Lord, make make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia.
Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice acceptable to you, Lord our God. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my troubles before him. I tell him all my distress while my spirit faints within me. But you, O oh Lord, know my path. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see. There is not one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. You are my refuge, Lord. 
You You are all that I desire in life. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge, all I have left in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Rather he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Because of this, God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The The Lord Lord Jesus Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. 
Brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, lest you be conceited. Just as you were once disobedient to God and now have received mercy, through their disobedience, so the Jews have become disobedient, since God wished to show you mercy, that they too may receive mercy. God had imprisoned all in disobedience, that he might have mercy on all. How deep are the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable his judgments! How unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? Who has been given him anything to deserve return? For from him, and through him, and for him, all things are. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all. As we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but to God what belongs to God. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now. now. And will be forever. Amen. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but to God what belongs to God. Alleluia. We give glory to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And in our weakness we pray, Lord, be with your people. Holy Lord, Father all-powerful, let justice spring up on the earth, that your people will dwell in the beauty of peace. Lord, Lord be, be with, with your, your people. people. Let every nation come into your kingdom, so that all peoples will be saved. Lord, Lord be, be with, with your people. Let married couples live in your peace and grow in mutual love. Lord, Lord be, be with, with your people. people. Reward all who have done good to us, Lord, 
and grant them eternal life. Lord, Lord, be be with with your people. Look with compassion on victims of hatred and war. Grant them heavenly peace. Lord, Lord, be be with with your people. To these prayers, we pause to add the intercessions of our own hearts. Lord, be be with with your people. And now let us pray as the Lord told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as As we we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against us. And and lead us not into temptation, but but deliver us from from evil. evil. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.